haven't done one of these in a while, mainly because I just haven't been available in the mornings to do them. I just shipped chapter three of The Nature of Software on boundaries. It was a really tough one. It was the first of them that I've actually had some serious trouble with. I mean, for starters, it's a lot bigger than the next biggest ones, about 5,200 words. I think the next biggest one is about 4,500. It really wanted to drag the following two chapters along with it. And uh, it was a lot to try to not get it to do that. Um, I anticipated this kind of trouble, actually. I mean, the the 15-ness of the properties, the geometric properties that Christopher Alexander wrote down in The Nature of Order, you know, and I mean, he said it himself that they, the 15-ness of these properties is not essential, per se. They're just labels attached to concepts. And so, you know, he had another 11 properties for color that, you know, they sort of, they don't overlap, they kind of inject onto it. You know, it was clear that these properties would not necessarily map one-to-one -to, -one to these sort of like semiotic topological characteristics of, of software. And it was difficult in a way to sort of hash out you know, what, first of all, what Alexander meant by boundaries uh, in the text, um, which is curiously sort of constrained to the geometry of boundaries. So it's like ring structures, partitioning structures are both sort of represented, but they're not, you know, it's not like a, a sign or a symbol or something like that. Whereas in a pattern language, the, he absolutely does talk about certain boundaries as having this sort of semiotic effect, this kind of like cognitive effect. And so teasing that out was was difficult. I also, like holy shit, the last one that I did was on July 9th. So it's been like seven weeks or something like that since uh, that it took me now. Two of those weeks, I was in Vancouver for my birthday, seeing my family and dealing with some administrivia. And then there was also a lot of just demands on my time. I find like the, just, I'm trying to figure out how to organize my time when I have a lot of sort of concurrent things that require a lot of attention. Like, you know, for writing, for example, like, you know, I can bang off, you know, 12 or 13,000 words in a week if I, you know, for work or whatever, if I need to. I mean, it's a lot of writing, but it's manageable if there's, if, if it's something to do and the sort of objective is clear and of course, if I'm being paid for it. What I find though, I mean, in this case, you know, you take the fact that, like, you know, trying to do stuff while you're, you know, sitting on a couch at your parents' house or whatever um, is, you know, forget it. You're never going to, especially if you, you know, you need, I need massive contiguous amounts of time. You know, I need, you know, hours and hours and hours with no interruptions if I'm going to write anything and I just haven't been getting that but like say you've got three things like that going on at once and it's like I have hours and hours I know I need hours and hours and hours to do thing a hours and hours and hours to do thing b hours and hours and hours to do thing c, thing c. like at the um, the these chapters it's like you know I can binge out, I can write one of these chapters, like, you know, my, theoretically I can blast one out in a day and then I come back and noodle on it or whatever. In practice, it takes more like the better part of a week to write one. 
And so during that period, I need like nothing. Don't, I need like, uh, yeah, nothing else bothering me during that period. And then, yeah, like anything, like I had some programming stuff, I had some consulting stuff to do. And they, yeah, just the amount of juggling, like you can't just sort of do that kind of stuff in, you know, five minutes here or there. Like it's even an hour. It's like the amount of stuff I can get done in an hour. It's like hey, after it's like an, an hour is like just me getting settled into it, you know? Um, my sort of minimum is like four hours and I wasn't even getting four contiguous hours like at all in the last several weeks. It was just end to end interruptions. However, the new chapters out, I'm going to write the next two chapters sort of on a rap more rapid pace to get those out sooner and then try to get back on a sort of regular schedule of, uh, two a month ish, give or take, you know, plus or minus a few days. But anyway, I am going to finish my coffee.